You are in the studio of Perpetual Mojo. Has this ever happened to you? Honey, did you get the note I left on your desk? What note? Or this? Sweetie, did you get the note I left on the fridge? On the fridge, there must be 32 messages on the fridge. I have the perfect solution for you. A chalkboard paint message board. I used just a brush on chalk paint. I did three coats and I sanded in between. Now, it, I'm using a 600 grit sandpaper, which is very, very fine. And I want this to be so smooth that the chalk will write on it very easily. So I'm just gonna sand with the grain. Oh, that feels nice. That's perfect. Now you know me, and you know I need color. So I was pondering a trim of purple beads. Yep, I like that. Let's use some Aline Super Thick Tacky Glue. And go in the groove all the way around. Not too much now. You don't need a whole lot with the super thick. I'm going to start at the bottom and place it on like so. Just set it right down into the super thick tacky glue. Now we're just going to give that a minute to dry, trim off the excess, and we will be ready to go to the next step. These beads are almost dry, so I, I want to add the next touch, which is going to be beaded fringe, of course. You know me. I have to have things that move and make noise, and these are really pretty. I have a curve at the outer edge of the bottom, which I'm just going to move up a little bit. So I'm going to get out my tacky glue again, my super thick tacky glue. Run the bead across the bottom. Well, it's not actually a bead. It's just a nice flat bit of glue for the ribbon to stick into. Let's start at one side. And I'm going to go to where the first bead, the first string of beads falls from inside of the bottom curve there. And then I'm going to bring it around. And the last bead, the last string of beads, ends up right in the bottom curve on this side. I love the way this looks, very cool. Now I've got a 16 inch piece of electrical wire as I always do, love my scraps. And I want this just to be able to hang over a special hook or a doorknob, nothing big. I've drilled two holes in the front here at the top. And I don't need very much for the hanging, no more than that. So I'm going to bend the wires back here forward. And of course you know I have to have some beads. So let's slide one of these big old plastic beads on. Perfect. And the cool thing about these beads is that the wire fits just right in them so that the slightest bend will keep that from going anywhere. And slide another one on. And then we're going to go around again. that enough bend to hold its bead in place. I have four on this side. I'm only going to put three on the other side. I did them kind of cattywampus because I like the way that looks. Cool. Cool decoration. Now let's do the other side. Oh my heck, I love the way that looks. He'll never miss it again. I'm Candace. 
You stay crafty, my friends. <laughs>